Hi guys, Ayani from Gypsy Love Portal here. So you guys want to know how to use a dancing rod. I got these on Amazon. They're pretty cool. They kind of look like pens. Cute little thing. See that? Can you see it? Look at that. And perfect size, down, you know, dancing rods. So easy to carry in your purse. And let me show you how cool this is. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to use and that, you know, and it's very simple. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, that. So there you go. Here we go. Um, so you have to do your best to stand still and not move around. Seems like that there's a lot of energy here already trying to speak. Communicate with me. With us. For example, um, is there any spirit here from the spirit, spirit world with me? Yes. Ooh, thank you. All right, you can go back to normal now. Thank you. Here's what you do. When you ask a question, okay, the yes, it's like this, it crosses, that's a yes. No, it opens up like that. That's a no. So when you ask a yes and no question, question, it will go either like this, yes or no. And how to point to things. And I'm simply gonna ask a question. It's a lot of energy here already. Uh, is there gonna be anybody watching this video say yes or no, please? Ooh, that's a super definitely yes. Thank you. Um, is it raining outside? No, that is true, guys. It's not raining outside. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Thank you. Stand still. Still. Thank you. Still. Uh, do I have a boyfriend? Yes or no? Wow, that's definitely a no. Um, um, yeah. Okay, so one more time on this one. Do I have a boyfriend? <laughs> do, do, do I have A boyfriend the spirit is right <laughs> okay <laughs> you see I'm telling you so it's very easy you could just ask questions yes or no and it will answer to you much better to start with a yes and no question or you can ask to point out to things like um, can you point out to my TV where's my TV Yes. Where is my TV? Where is my TV? Can you point to my TV? Yes. Can you point to the TV? Where's my TV at? Yes. It's on that side of the room. That's correct. See? Thank you so much. Look how they even moved that, the other one. All right. Go back to normal now. Go back to normal. Go back, go back. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, guys. Well, um, so as you can see, it's very easy and simple to use. You can ask yes or no questions or ask to point it out to you to start that off that way. And don't forget to always send them to the light. So thank you so much, spirits. You can go to the light, light, love, and blessings to you guys. Till next time, my friends. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Look at that. And it's easy to use, very light. I loved it. I'm going to leave the... Um, link down down below to where you can find this kind here i like this one here in particular um look at that and very easy to close and voila see yes look at the size the size of my hand 
right, so you can have an idea of how big it is. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn something about these bouncing rides. I love these. Easy to carry. Look at that. If anybody have any questions about these, um, leave me a comment down below. Thank you, guys. Ciao. Anyways, I just wanted to um, say that uh, about the dancing rounds. So just make sure that when you guys do it, whether you're by yourself or with a group of friends, um, you know, you take it seriously and have respect for it. Um, take it seriously, but have fun too at the same time, you know. But I'm just saying in general, you know, have respect because it takes a, it takes a lot of energy for the, you know, spirits to communicate with us you know they go out of their way to come and meet us to communicate with us so you gotta have respect for that you know so they can come back and you know so they can have respect for you too right um but anyways so yeah because you're gonna see that my see my videos are silly and stuff but that's because i'm just having fun and you know uh, introducing you to the Dawson rods for those who don't know much about it or you know just the basics because you know I just want to make sure that you guys are aware that the respect is very um, needed when you do any spirit communication or you know whatsoever so and you know I'm just comfortable with it because I'm like this with the spirits you know I've communicated with them before they've communicated with me and you know they know what I'm all about you know <laughs> I got friendly ghosts around, you know, I because I attract those because I'm a positive, high vibrational being, and I do meditation, all the good stuff. So just make sure, you know, for the beginners and or people that are just testing the waters, just want to try it out, or for those who want to take it serious, just have respect. That's it. Oh my gosh, that was spooky. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> Anyways, and do you guys hear this in the background? The water thing? That's my waterfall, in case you wonder. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, anyway, so I'll see you on the other side.